Well, Chris Habermill watches the roads. Chris Ty is watching the skies. Hundreds of flights have been canceled and thousands of travelers forced to change their plans. Chris is live at O'Hare for us tonight. Chris. Joe, Erica, 545 flights to be specific, canceled out of O'Hare Field today. Most of those were canceled earlier today, so you have almost 100,000 people that got the advanced word, and they are not here tonight. Take a look at some video of inside the terminal late this afternoon. There had been a complicating factor that emerged late today that we're just learning about. The shuttle that connects the terminals here, you've seen it when you pull up to drop folks off. The terminal shuttle is down. That uh, rail line is down because of weather-related complications, so the airport has put bus service in place to get people who need to move from one terminal to the next. That is not something they were forecasting for today. Another thing not forecasted today, a 24-hour delay to get where they want to go. Some passengers who are going from Portland to Cedar Rapids, Iowa, now entering their 30th hour of waiting. This has been the, I'm sorry, the worst trip we've ever had. It just, uh, some of the people have been really great trying to help us out but it's just been one thing after another here. This place is so huge, but I don't know if they know how to manage it. We're already looking ahead to tomorrow and there are cancellations for Friday as well. More of them right now at Midway Airport at O'Hare. The high winds and the shorter runways at Midway is the reason behind that. Live at O'Hare though tonight, Chris Todd, CBS 2 News. Yeah, you feel for people like that gentleman. Thank you, Chris.